What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Fantasy Addiction Network. Today, we're going to be talking about LaDamian Washington, wide receiver for the St. Louis Battle Hawks, and breaking down his potential for fantasy in the 2020 season. But hey, if you guys are looking for XFL and fantasy content, click that subscribe button and that like button. We'll be posting stuff every single day throughout the XFL season, keeping you guys up to date on all of the latest news for the XFL. But anyway, not going to waste any more time. Let's get started right away. All right, so we're looking at LaDamian Washington today who saw a massive boost to his potential fantasy upside after the final 52 rosters were released. With Terrence Williams no longer on the team, LaDamian Washington is looking to be able to take over as that head starter and should be the most dominant force here for the St. Louis Battlehawks in the wide receiver core. And I really think that he's going to be dominant along with Alonzo Russell. I like both of those guys in this team. Not too huge a fan of DeMornay Pearson L. I think Washington and Russell will end up being the predominant benefactors of Terrence Williams. You know, all those vacated targets that he was going to receive. Uh, so let's break down his athleticism here a bit. Really tall. It's six foot four. Uh, not the biggest guy at 195 pounds, but really large arms at 33 and three quarter three eighths inches um that's 89th percentile in the nfl uh 446 40 times 77th percentile really high speed score so he's going to be a really good deep target and especially if the battle hawks end up going with uh jordan teamu i do believe that this will be uh, his favorite target because he's more of that big bodied guy that uh, Jordan Tiamu, you know, got to experience with playing with both Metcalf and AJ Brown in Ole Miss. So I think this is going to be a really good comp for um, for Jordan Tiamu, and I'm really really hoping that he ends up getting the starting spot because I think that helps Ladamian Washington out a lot. Uh, let's look at his college stats. Uh, first year, not too much. Second, third year, 20 receptions, 25 receptions, 364 and 443 yards. His last year, 50 receptions, 893 yards and 10 touchdowns. So his last season was definitely his most dominant, um, but his average yards per reception with the exception of that first year is always over 17 so like i said that deep speed that deep playability Damian washington is definitely going to have some incredibly high boom weeks for you in fantasy and will definitely be someone to target in a daily space as well uh, he also played in the aaf last year for the birmingham uh, birmingham iron I, I can't talk i'm sorry the birmingham iron and i think that um you know playing for the iron who, they weren't really a pass-centric team, uh, so we'll only take away a little bit from what we can get there. But 15 receptions, 250 yards, and again, 16.67 average. He's just always that deep downfield guy. He had one 83-yard touchdown, two touchdowns in total. Just overall is going to be a huge deep down the field threat and I think that Jordan Tiamu and LaDamian Washington will mess really nicely. Alonzo Russell will probably end up getting a, a bit more of those underneath routes but I think LaDamian Washington is primed to have a really big year. I really like LaDamian Washington a lot this year. Not much more to be said. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Click that like and subscribe button for more content every single day for the XFL and then also if you guys are looking for rankings for your drafts this weekend, click that link in the description. Download them for free or go to Fantasy Addiction. Work.com. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and we will see you in the next video.